Hello there you beautiful people and welcome to the Python Bible. Now this is just a quick video to let you know what you can expect from the course and how it's going to be structured. So what makes this course awesome? Well one great benefit you get from this course is that it's project based. Instead of listening to me ramble on forever you're going to be actually applying your newfound skills to cool projects that you can show your friends. You'll build a total of 10 fun projects in this course and there'll also be quizzes and coding challenges scattered about to make sure you're getting frequent feedback on how you're progressing. We're going to start off by getting you all set up with Python, whether you're using Windows, Mac or Linux, so you can follow along with all the programming goodness. You'll also be introduced to IDLE, the main interface we'll be using to program in Python throughout the rest of the course. Once you're all set up and running, we're going to move on to variables. Now variables are like little boxes in your program that you use to store data. You find them everywhere in programming and they are absolutely key to doing, well, anything. So that makes them a pretty good place to start. We'll then move on to learn how to use numbers in Python. Numbers are absolutely everywhere in programming, and if you learn this section well, you may never need to do maths ever again. In this section, we'll also meet our very first project. We'll be using numbers to create a health potion for an imaginary video game. Pretty sweet, right? After that, we're going to move away from the world of ones and zeros and learn how to manage text in our Python programs in order to create customised and meaningful experiences for our users. We'll be using this knowledge to ask our users a bunch of questions and then write a piece of text all about them. We'll also learn about how to slice and dice text and apply this to an email slicer project. By the way, no emails were harmed in the making of this course. By this point, we should have the basics of programming down, but if I know you, you're going to want to take your abilities to the next level. This is where logic comes in. Logic allows your programs to do multiple actions depending on the situation that they're facing. If anyone asks, just wink and tell them you're learning AI. Now after that, we will make our programs more sophisticated and learn about how to use Python's awesome data structures to help us deal with large amounts of data. We'll start off by making Travis, the ridiculous security system. Travis will have a bunch of known users and if he detects an intruder, he will tell them to stop and then ask them if they'd like to come in. We'll also be making a cinema simulator that has a bunch of films with their age ratings and number of tickets still available. When someone comes to buy a ticket, the program will check that they're old enough and that there are enough tickets left. And if they are, then they'll let them buy the film. Now we're talking, right? Then we're going to learn all about loops. Let's face it, some things are just repetitive, but that doesn't mean you have to do them. In this section, you'll learn how to use loops to make computers do stuff over and over and over again, but by only typing it once. For the projects in this section, we're going to use loops to simulate an annoying conversation with a three-year-old child, and also to make a translator that will convert any sentence into pig Latin. A funny language meant to confuse and amuse. After that, we're going to learn about creating functions in Python. Functions are ridiculously useful, and we're going to use them to create a game of tic-tac-toe, or three in a row, or XO, or whatever you want to call it. You've definitely played it. Then finally, we're going to learn about object-oriented programming, or OOP, in Python. You'll learn all about classes and objects, and use this information to create a set of coins and even your own bank. Now if that all sounds like fun, then I won't keep you waiting any longer. Let's get you all set up and running with Python.